10 Most Evil Men. It's based not upon death tolls, but upon the general actions and impact or brutality of the people in history, from bad to worst. Attila the Hun Attila was Khan of the Huns from 434 until his passing in 453. He was head of the Hunnic Empire which extended from Germany to the Ural River and from the Danube River to the Baltic Sea. In quite a bit of Western Europe, he is recognized as the encapsulation of savagery and avarice. An ineffective mission in Persia was continued in 441 by an intrusion of the Eastern Roman Empire, the achievement of which encouraged Attila to attack the West. He went unhindered through Austria and Germany, over the Rhine into Gaul, ravaging and devastating all in his way with a savagery unrivaled in the records of brute intrusions and convincing those he defeated to expand his powerful armed force. Attila drowned in his own blood on his wedding night. Maximilien Robespierre Maximilien Robespierre was ahead of the French Revolution and it was his contentions that caused the progressive government murder the Lord without a preliminary. Robespierre was one of the main impetuses behind the rule of fear, 10-month post-progressive period in which mass executions were done. The terror ended the lives of between 18,500 to 40,000 individuals, with 1,900 being killed in the most recent month. Among individuals who were condemned by the progressive courts, around 8% were blue bloods, 6% passed orate, 14% working class, and 70% were laborers blamed for accumulating, avoiding the draft, departure, insubordination, and other indicated crimes. In a demonstration of incidental equity, Robespierre was guillotined without a preliminary in 1794. Ruhollah Khomeini Known as the Ayatollah Khomeini was the religious head of Iran from 1979 to 1989. In that time he actualized Sharia law, Islamic strict law, with the Islamic clothing regulation upheld for the two people by Islamic revolutionary guards and other Islamic gatherings. Resistance to the strict guideline of the ministry or Islam by and large was frequently met with unforgiving disciplines. In a discussion at the Faziya school in Qam, August 30, 1979, Khomeini stated, that individuals who are attempting to carry defilement and decimation to their nation for the sake of majority rule government will be persecuted. They are more regrettable than Bani Garizet Jews, and they should be hanged. And persecute them by God's organization and God's call to prayer. In the 1988 slaughter of Iranian detainees, following the People's Mujahideen of Iran activity for e Javadan against the Islamic Republic, Khomeini gave a request to legal authorities to pass judgment on each Iranian political detainee and execute the individuals who might not atone hostile to system exercises. Many state that thousands were quickly killed inside the detainment facilities. The stifled diaries of Grand Ayatollah Hossein Ali Montazeri supposedly detail the execution of 30,000 political activists. After 11 days in an emergency clinic for an activity to stop inside dying, Khomeini kicked the bucket of malignancy on Saturday, June 4, 1989, at 86 years old. Idi Amin Dada Idi Amin was a military officer and leader of Uganda. He took power in a military overthrow in January 1971, removing Milton Abbott. His standard was described by denials of basic freedoms, political restraint, ethnic abuse, legal killings, and the ejection of Indians from Uganda. The number of individuals killed because of his system is obscure, estimates range from 80,000 to 500,000. On August 4, 1972, Amin gave a pronouncement requesting the removal of the 60,000 Asians who were not Ugandan residents, the majority of them held British international IDs. This was later changed to incorporate every one of the 80,000 Asians, except for experts, for example, specialists, legal counselors, and educators. Amin was in the long run toppled, yet until his passing, he held that Uganda required him and he never communicated regret for the maltreatments of his system. Leopold II of Belgium 
Leopold II was King of Belgium from 1865 to 1909. With monetary help from the public authority, Leopold made the Congo Free State, a private venture embraced to separate elastic and ivory in the Congo district of Focal Africa, which depended on constrained work and brought about the deaths of around 3 million Congolese. The system of the Congo Free State got one of the more notorious worldwide embarrassments of the turn of the century. The region of land exclusive by the king was a region multiple times bigger than Belgium, which he was allowed to run as an individual area through his private armed force, the force public. Leopold's elastic finders tormented, injured and butchered until when the new century rolled over, the soul of the Western world constrained Brussels to call an end. Pol Pot Pol Pot was the head of the Khmer Rouge and the Prime Minister of Cambodia from 1976 to 1979, having been accepted pioneer since mid-1975. During his time in force Pol Pot forced an extraordinary rendition of agrarian socialism where all city occupants were migrated to the field to work in aggregate ranches and constrained work ventures. The consolidated impact of slave work, hunger, helpless clinical consideration and executions is assessed to have murdered around 2 million Cambodians, roughly 33% of the population. His system accomplished uncommon reputation for singling out all learned people and other common adversaries for murder. The Khmer Rouge submitted mass executions in locales known as the killing fields. The executed were covered in mass graves. To spare ammo, executions were regularly completed utilizing hammers, hatchet handles, spades, or honed bamboo sticks. Vlad the Impaler Vlad III of Romania, called Vlad the Impaler, was Prince of Wallachia three times between 1448 and 1476. Vlad is most popular for the legends of the extremely pitiless disciplines he forced during his rule and for filling in as the essential motivation for the vampire primary character in Bram Stoker's famous Dracula tale. In Romania he is seen by numerous individuals as a prince with a profound feeling of justice. His technique for torment was a pony attached to every one of the victim's legs as a honed stake was slowly constrained into the body. The finish of the stake was normally oiled, and care was taken that the stake not be excessively sharp, else the victim may bite the dust too quickly from stun. Wikipedia has an article that depicts, in extraordinary subtleties, the strategies for Vlad's cruelty. The rundown of torments he is claimed to have utilized is broad, nails in heads, cutting off of appendages, blinding, strangulation, consuming, cutting off of noses and ears, mutilation of sexual organs, particularly on account of ladies, scalping, cleaning, presentation to the components or to creatures, and bubbling alive. There are claims that on certain events 10,000 individuals were pierced in 1460 alone. Ivan IV of Russia Ivan IV of Russia, likewise known as Ivan the Terrible, was the Grand Duke of Muscovy from 1533 to 1547 and was the first leader of Russia to expect the title of Tsar. In 1570, Ivan was under the conviction that the first class of the city of Novgorod wanted to surrender to Poland, and drove a military to stop them on January 2. Ivan's officers assembled dividers around the edge of the city to forestall the individuals of the city getting away. Between 500 and 1,000 individuals were accumulated each day the soldiers, at that point tormented and killed before Ivan and his child. In 1581, Ivan beat his pregnant little girl-in-law for wearing improper dress, causing a miscarriage. His child, likewise named Ivan, after learning of this, occupied with a warmed contention with his dad, which brought about Ivan striking his child in the head with his sharp staff, causing his child's, unintentional, death. Adolf Hitler Adolf Hitler was selected Chancellor of Germany in 1933, turning out to be Führer in 1934 until his suicide in 1945. By the end of Second World War, Hitler's arrangements of regional victory and racial oppression had carried death and devastation to a huge number of individuals, 
remembering the slaughter of about 6 million Jews for what is presently known as the Holocaust. On April 30, 1945, after extreme road-to-road -road battle, when Soviet soldiers were spotted inside a square or two of the Reich Chancellery, Hitler ended it all, shooting himself while at the same time gnawing into a cyanide case. Joseph Stalin Stalin was General Secretary of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union's Central Committee from 1922 until his death in 1953. Under Stalin's initiative, the Ukraine experienced a starvation, Holodomor, so incredible it is considered by numerous individuals to be a demonstration of massacre with respect to Stalin's administration. Assessments of the quantity of deaths range from 2.5 million to 10 million. The starvation was brought about by direct political and regulatory choices. Additionally the starvation, Stalin requested cleanses inside the Soviet Union of any individual regarded to be an enemy of the state. Altogether, assessments of all outnumber killed under Stalin's rule, range from 10 million to 60 million. That's the 10 most popular evil men of the history. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.